So, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Here I am. So, we try trying pretzel rock again today. Um, uh, let's see how that goes. I'm gonna encender la pulsera porque todavía está apagada. Okay, so, um, yeah, today we're going to do more abs and arms, sorry, it's an abs and arms. And, yeah. Come on. I don't even know what station that is right now, but it doesn't really matter. No copyright sounds or wait a second, I've got it. Ah, yes, no copyright sounds. Okay, the station is called No Copyright Sound. Hola, Marco, buenas. Hi, Marco, how are you? Hola, Carla. No pasa nada, no pasa nada. Si tienes que trabajar, tienes que trabajar, ¿no? Uno tiene que ganarse la vida de alguna manera. Así que. Hola, Pep, ¿qué tal? So. Today, more abs and arms. And yeah. Yeah, I'm fine too. I'm fine too. So, um, today we will be like doing the stream until about, I'd say, um, until. 1.30 to, to a quarter to two or something because I'm going to Palma later, but yeah. So, um, get this a bit back. I hope you all prepare for this beautiful workout. This beautiful workout. Uh, let's do the Instagram story. Let's do the Instagram story. Yes, thank you. So let's do a new Instagram story. Historia. So we're live. Hi Starling, how are you? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. So today we're going to start like half an hour of warming up as we always do. And then, um, and then arms and ups. And uh, yeah. So, this Instagram story is ready. Instagram story is ready. Um, yeah, and then I was thinking about the poll thing. Maybe on Friday we do a poll stream and the stretching stream. So, we'll be starting to do some poll and then maybe we'll even take on the poll during the stream. I don't know yet. Um, while well, we chat and prepare and then we stretch so no workout no real workout just chilling chilling stretching But let's see maybe we're gonna do that next week Or on the weekend
let's have some tea before we start. I don't know if I like the music yet, but we'll find out. Maybe play later we will put on the Netflix playlist again. But yeah. Hi Noah! So, let's get started. Um, we're not going to start with the timer right away. We're gonna put on the timer later, like we usually, like we do these days, right? And we start like with a step tap. Circling over first. Good morning, Jay. Welcome. So, side to side to side. Check it out, roll your shoulders. And the other way around. Now add like a reach over, reach, reach, reach. This is like a really easy start before we start the timer. I think this time we're gonna go with a one minute timer again and everything will be just one minute. Okay, step, tap again. Moving your arms back. So maybe we're gonna go with the timer one minute and 20 seconds. So one minute of work and then 20 seconds of marching, of drinking, of doing whatever. Right? For a while. Turn. Maybe let's do a, a leg curl here. Heels to our bum. And yeah, as always, you don't have to do anything that you don't like. If there's something high impact and you want to keep it low impact, I usually give alternatives. If I don't give an alternative, then just go for some low impact exercise. You could always march in place, always with a leg curl. March in place, right? Easy. And um, yeah. Or if you don't want to do a push-up, you could just hold a plank instead. There's like many ways to make this workout your workout. You always have to adjust it to your fitness level. So, arm circles. And back. Cross in front. And let's swing it back and back. Back, back, back. Okay, now I just decided we're gonna put on the one minute timer without the 20 minute break, a 20 second break, and we're gonna add the 20 second break later on. And we're feeling more tired, right? So in the beginning, we'll be just switching exercises each minute. Um, how are you feeling? Doing something? March in place, keep marching in place, maybe roll your head. While I keep adjusting stuff here, preparing everything. Oh, okay, this is cool, close. Yeah, so that I can read everything, right? I'm gonna put the cell phone down there, so I can read that too. <laughs> right, so when I start the timer, that everything is set up, and yeah, that we're ready to Rock. So, I want to see all the messages. Play. There we go. And I'm gonna start the timer. I'm gonna start the timer. It's the one minute timer. Let's go. Oh, wait, no, no, let's go and we start easy peasy, one minute, again the step tap to get into that, so one minute step tapping and then I'm gonna explain you the next exercise and you can like always alternate it, 
Uh, always do something else. If you don't feel like doing what I'm doing, um, we're going to warm up for about half an hour. We're going to do some dips, some pull-ups, some stuff on the mat, focusing on abs and arms, some planks, and then I'm planning on preparing a longer like plank timer um, for the next time or the time after that, let's see. Because on Friday we might be doing the pole thing. On Friday I might be like, I might be doing the pole thing. I don't know yet, but it would be nice, right? To have like one pole stream a week. Friday seems like a good day to do the pole and then just like to stretch afterwards. Okay, two, one, come to the end of the mat. We're gonna get into an inchworm. I know we always do that, but I always like it. So that's why we always do it. So we come into a plank pose and we walk back up and up. Hi, King Richard, happy Wednesday to you too. And down and up. And yeah, this is like what we're doing now for this minute. I like inchworms a lot because it's a good exercise where you like stretch your legs. If you keep them straight, you don't have to go. You can bend them. It's about warming up. So choose your level. Um, and yeah, it's not too hard, but you engage all of your body. You go up and down and yeah, that's why I like it a lot. Um, I'm hot. It's so hot in here. I gotta open up the window, I think, in a sec. Okay, let me quickly open the window here. And we stay uh, in the plank, back into the plank. And from that plank, we shift into a down dog. In the down dog, our arms are aligned with our back. We try to straighten those legs and we try to bring the heels to the floor. Pressing down on our shoulders, pressing the hands, the palms into the mat. And now we're shifting back and forth here. Back and forth in between those two moves. It's getting hot, like summer is coming. Um, soon we're gonna be dripping in sweat, like all the mat's gonna be like super wet. I'm gonna have to use a towel, I guess, soon. I can feel that. I can feel that. So nice. Looking forward to that. Okay, up again and now you can either march in place or you kind of jog in place, jumping from side to side, right? One minute of moving a little bit more high impact and then you got to get down to the mat again. The next one is going to be an inchworm with a push-up. If you don't want to do the push-up, you don't have to. You can always just hold the plank or do the push-up on your knees, but it doesn't matter if you do the push-up on your knees or like a full push-up, uh, a push-up is a moving plank, all right? It's a plank that goes up and down. So first nail your plank, and then you use the push-up. I feel like I'm out of breath already. How is that possible? It's because it's so warm in here. Four, three, two, one. And we come to the end of the mat, and like I said, we walk out into the inchworm, push up if we can, and we walk back up. Ooh! Buenas, Maquis! ¿Qué tal? Bienvenido. And up. I'm thirsty already. Uh, yes, I was sweating this night. Ten more seconds. And now we're gonna stay in the plank and we're gonna do slow mountain climbers, right? Slow. We're gonna do fast ones later on, I guess, but slow ones, right? So we're in the plank here and we pull those knees in. Pull the knee in close to the chest, wrist, 
wrists are ideally underneath your shoulders and yeah this is an upper exercise and an upper body exercise actually it's a whole body exercise right we feel that everywhere keep moving no breaks let's see are you going to take a dump now okay probably you're gonna have a break when mouse is taking a dump so i have to get rid of her toxic waste right because like it's very smelly when she goes to the bathroom it's very smelly when you go to the bathroom, Mati. You know that, right? That's why you don't cover it up. You just run away from your own smell. Push through just a few more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And come up. Jog in place again. Right? Jumping, jogging. Woo! And maybe have a sip of water or whatever you're drinking. If you don't want to jog or run, you can always just march in place. And we're gonna work out with a ball, I guess, today. We're thinking about doing some of the up exercises with a ball. So yeah, gonna be fun. Yeah, smelly cat. Smelly cat from friends. 15 more seconds, guys. 15 more seconds. And then we're gonna um, come down into a squat position and pulse it for one minute, halfway down. So feet about a bit hard, further than hips width apart. We come down here, right down. Bum is back. Bum is back just halfway or quarter down. And we just pulse it. Just pulsing here, straight back. Knees aligned with your feet. Weight is in the heels and you should be feeling that in your quads. Whew. Like, yeah, she's very, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Now, oh no, she's going to the bathroom now. Oh no, she will deposit her toxic waste into the cat litter box. She peed on my shoes this morning, right? Because her shoes were next to her litter box. So she was like, okay, I can pee on them too. But she's old, I have to forgive her. 10 more seconds here of pulsing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one, and done. High knees, slow high knees. So this high, this is low impact. Just lifting up those knees, pulling them in, pulling them towards your chest, lifting with your lower abdominals, and yeah, training your hip flexors, the muscles that are like enable you like to bend forward to bring your knees close to your torso and your torso close to your knees. What breed? Ah, uh, she's just a mix. She was an alley cat. She was living in the street and then she moved in with us, so I don't know. I don't know her parents. I think she's just a mix. Just a mix. Just a mix that's like taking a dump. Okay, after this, after this minute, we probably have one minute, like not a break. You will have to keep marching, but I have to get rid of her, <laughs> of her poop. <laughs> I just finished paper. Woo! up and up okay okay not yet so now um out squat up right we do this one now and as with a normal squat we go back weight is in the heels back is straight and we hinge forward and we go down so this is not the break yet the break comes after that because Malti's not done now she's done okay now she's done depositing her poop in the litter box and I'm gonna clean it after that round in 30 seconds while you will be just marching in place, right? Just march. Or maybe clean your cat's litter box as well. So we can do that together. And down. And up. Just a few more seconds here. Five, four, Three, two, one, done. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the cat poop. You gotta march, march in place. And you might still be hearing me because I'm here in the next room, but I don't know if the mic is working because my bathroom walls 
They are pretty isolated or insulated. I'm out of this. Okay. Next round, next round, next round. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, jumping jacks, either jumping jacks or step out, step out, or doing jumping jacks. Depending on if you want to do it high and back or low back. You are high solo, Stella. Point GP issue. Yeah. <laughs> You were safe today. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Jump! 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 So, both cats are here now. We took care of the little box. Now we can, like, get rid real work out. I mean, Tinky's not done yet with her business, but she just covers up everything so it doesn't smell so bad when she, she goes to the bathroom. Woo! Okay, let's come back here again. We walk down, right? We come down here into a plank and then onto one elbow, onto the other, and up, and up. And then the other side. Elbow, elbow, up, up. We always keep alternating sides here. And this is a good exercise for uh, our upper body, obviously, but also for the rest because we have to stabilize our times here. Oof. About 15 more seconds. Whew. Push through. Whew. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. Okay. Whew. Jump rope. If you don't want to jump rope, you can always march. Whew. Whew. Jump rope. Ah, I'm feeling. I'm so thirsty. It's getting hot. Getting hot. Love it. Working out for almost 20 minutes, right? And it's just 30 minutes of warming up today. So we're almost done, right? We're almost done. Over halfway through at least. Whew. Five, four, three, two, one. And done. So now we come at the end of the mat. You can either come down, step back, step back, step to the front, step to the front, or you jump back. Bap, and bap, and up. It's up to you. If you jump, if you step, if you do step back and don't jump, um, I would advise you to keep switching legs. First go with the one leg back, then with the other one. Ooh. Up again. 22 seconds. Ooh. 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 10 more seconds. <laughs> well, we stick to that move. We stick to that move. Guys, I'm sorry. So, now you either step back. The easy vision would be stepping back, stepping back, tap out, tap out, step in, step in. The normal vision, the harder vision. T 
jump back, jump out, jump in, and that, right? Choose. I'm almost out of breath. <laughs> I was thinking about streaming tomorrow in the afternoon, but I think I just took the arc stream in the morning because I still have some videos to add it and to cut. So I guess I'll be doing that tomorrow. But yeah, maybe, maybe there will be stream. Depending on how fast I'm with editing those videos. Okay. High knees again. Or if you want, you could add the kick. Up, the knee up and kick. Knee up and kick. Oh. oh. So out of breath. 20 minutes. Now it's 20 minutes. I was talking that it's almost 20 minutes and it feels like ages ago that I said that. And now we're at 20 minutes. So 10 more minutes of warming up and then we're gonna get into the strength work. 10 more minutes means about 10 more exercises here, right? Just 10 exercises each one minute. This is fast. This is doable. Next thing we're gonna do is pop squats. You can pop them or you can walk them. So I'm gonna show you the easier version. Low impact would be step out, step out. Back, step in, step in. Step out, step out, other side. Step in, step in, or jump. Jump. And try to tap the floor with your arm. Doesn't matter if you don't reach the floor. Uh, it's okay. Just to reach for it and don't touch it. <sighs> Take a drink if you have to. Take a teeny tiny break, but don't stop. Keep marching if you have to take a break, right? It's just 30 minutes of walking, warming up, 30 minutes of cardio, so we can do that easily. Easily. 10 more seconds here, and then we're back to a low impact move. Ah. March in place, march. Have a sip of water. Arms up to the sides. Fists and circle those arms. I know it's not very hard. It's kind of a recovery move, but you will still feel that. Don't drop your arms. Don't drop them. Keep marching in place. Keep marching, keep rolling those fists other way around pushing through we're gonna get into a plank again after that 10 more seconds five four three two one we're gonna get into a plank and we're gonna do side plank changes without a push up, right? Just one side plank, reach up, look up, into the side plank, into the normal plank and other side. Alternating. Low impact, right? Still not easy. And up. Keep pushing through, not even 20 seconds left. And then we're gonna do fast mountain climbers for one minute. Fast mountain climbers. I told you we would do them fast later. The time has come to do them fast. If you want to, you can still do them slow like that, but I would prefer you to do the higher impact version and kind of run here 
on the floor. <sighs> I know it's hard. We're gonna do something low impact after that, so. Die. Whew. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe. 35 seconds to go. <sighs> uh. Through. 20 more seconds. Let's go. Can go faster? For these last 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Done. <sighs> lunges. Front lunges. So lunge the front down and up. Down and up. This is not hard to do it one minute. We try to create uh, or to get into a 90 degree angle with both of our knees ideally. If we don't quite get there, that's fine. Just keep moving. And if you have to hold on to something for your balance, it's totally fine too. Whew. Oh my. I'm sweating. I'm out of breath. I love it. 25 minutes. Five more minutes. Then we're done. Next thing, we're gonna come into a bear plank and push into a down dog from there. So a bear plank is to come into a tabletop position or knees are hovering on the floor, right? They're not touching the floor. And then into a down dog from here and back into the bear plank. If this is too hard, you could always come all the way down with your knees into the tabletop position, but try to hover those knees off the floor. It's just for one minute, right? Just one minute. We can do so many things for one minute. even 10 minutes, 10 seconds left. <laughs> we stay in the down dog, right? We stay in the down dog and we do down dog push up. They don't have to be low, just a bit down and up. I show you from this angle. So yeah, arms are flaring out. Your elbows are flaring out, down and up, right? And you can bend your, you can bend your knees here. No problem. You don't have to have them straight. Nice and controlled. Slow. And it's okay if it's just a really teeny tiny move. Doesn't have to be much. Oof. Oh. How are you feeling, guys? How are you feeling? Uh, you're feeling sweaty like me? I hope you are. Oof. Oof. A few more here, guys. One more. <sighs> and twist jumps. If you don't want to twist jump, you can twist march, right? Twist marching, totally fine. But try to twist jump. About three exercises to go. I mean, we're at 28 sec minutes now, but we're gonna do this one and two more exercises. And then we're done with the warm up. And we're gonna do all pistol squats. And then we're gonna use the power tower for dips and stuff before we had, and for some app work as well, before we head to the floor, the mat. Twist, jump. Don't give up. Now, twist, twist, twist. Torso into the opposite direction of your legs. Four. Three, two, one, and done. Now, we walk out, inchworm, and we're gonna do a push-up and a wide grip push-up. So we walk out, hands out, hands out, push-up, 
Hands in, hands in. And back. Right. I hate the white grip push-ups, but we gotta do them anyway. Ugh. Maybe that's even why we have to do them. Out, out. <laughs> How much more? Not much, right? About two. Let's stay here for those last 10 seconds and just do push ups here. <laughs> last move in the warm up. Either do these jumping jacks, like the low impact jumping jacks, or high impact jumping jacks. One more minute, and then we're done with the cardio part, with the warm up. Push and push through. My pulse is at 134. Whew. Getting better at cardio these days. Because I'm doing a lot of cardio with you guys. I didn't used to do so much. It's really good to do some more cardio. 20 more seconds. The station is pretty okay. The Pretzel Rock station, no copyright sounds. Although the name is pretty good. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! I oh gosh, I inhaled some hair there. That was disgusting. So, timer off. Timer off, march in place guys, march in place. We made it, half an hour of warming up. Let's do the pistol squats now. So, you could do normal squats, right? You could do normal squats, squats instead um, of pistol squats. If you don't know how to do pistol squats, which is a squat on one leg, you could, Put one leg in front and just go halfway here. Most of the way on that back leg. You could even hover the other leg completely. Go down and up, right? This is what you do if you don't know how to do a pistol squat. Or you do the negative where you go all the way down, right? You go all the way down on one leg, down and up. And then you do the other side. Down and up, right? These are your options if you don't know how to do um, a pistol squat. If you know how to do a pistol squat, we're gonna do pistol squat. Oh my. So, we're gonna do, I'd say we're gonna go for six. I usually did always five each side, right? But I think today, it's time to go for six with a pause in between because we used to do like 10 or 20, but just like really with momentum. But today I'm trying to do um, six pausing at the at the bottom, like for one second or something for two max. Um, I'm gonna take those shoes off. Ah, it's so hot already. So let's do this. One. Two. Three. <laughs> Four, two more. Five, one more. Six. Okay, other side. Oh, I was just inhaling my hair again. It's like so disgusting when you inhale something and then the hair is hitting the back of your throat. My oh my. Whew. Six. 
So. <sighs> okay. Oh, Malti's so cute. She's, she's here in front, lying on the X stage floor plate. So beautiful. Well, let's do the other side. I don't want to do six. I will. One. <coughs> Two. <coughs> Three. Halfway. Four, two more. <laughs> Five. And... <laughs> oh, six. Wow. We have to do another set. You know it. You know it. I know it. Malti knows. We all know. March in place. And if you don't know how to do those again, you just do halfies, you just do negatives, or even just normal squats will be fine. Hmm. My water is almost empty. The bottle was almost full. Look at it. Gonna get some new water soon. Important to stay hydrated. Oh, you're so quiet today. Everything's fine. <laughs> so, first side again. Six reps. One, two, three, four, oh, two more. Five, oh. And the last one on that side. Six. Oh gosh. Oh, almost didn't make it up there. Whew. So, one more side. So, how's it going for you? <sighs> Marty is so beautiful when she's sleeping there. So beautiful. Okay, the other side, six reps, and then we can focus on arms and abs, right? Then we're done with the like big leg part, I'd say. <laughs> One. <laughs> Two. Three. <laughs> Four. Two more. Oh, yo, yo. <sighs> Five. Last one. <laughs> Six. Oh, okay. I have to take a photo of Malti. She's just so cute.
Okay. We got her on camera. So, guys, now it's dip time, right? Dip time. So, that means we're gonna do dips. The best thing uh, in that scenario right now would be if you had a dip station like this. And let's like put the ball away for a moment. If you have a dip station, you could do the dips on the dip station, right? I always explain the same, I know, I'm sorry, but like there might be new people who need to know, who need to know. So if you have a dip station, you come up on the dip station, shoulders away from ears, up here, and then your elbows go back, right? They go back. And then you go back up. If you don't know how to do a dip, you could just do the negative. Down, 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 down on the floor. Right? Yeah, we took a photo of Mauzi. I'm gonna post it in the Discord later. If you don't have a dip station, you could use a chair or a cupboard or something. Put your hands on there. Like that. And do the dips here, right? This is another version. Another totally legit way to do dips. Or if you don't want to use any props at all, you want to do it on the floor, you can come into that pose here and dip here. Important. When we do that, it doesn't matter if we use the handles, the floor, the cup or the chair, or arms, they don't flare out, they go back to our upper arm step, pretty close to our torso, right? Not this, this, they go back. Right? Nice. Um, yeah, are you ready? Are you ready to rumble? So we're gonna do a pyramid here. We're gonna start with one dip, then two, then three, then four, then five. Four, three, two, one. One time up and down. So if you do it on a cupboard or on the floor, I would uh, I would say you should do more, right? See, make sure to say three steps, son. Um then you should do more. Then I would recommend you like, instead of like, before we start with one, start with three or five, and then go up and do more. So that you get to 10 in the end, because it's gonna be easier. Yeah, move the ball, see? See? Vamos, let's do the first one. It's just one, one rep. Or if you don't know how to do it and you have the handles, just always do one or two negatives. And if you do the negatives every day, you're gonna be able to do a whole thing after a while. So, first set, just one. One. Wasn't that easy? Wasn't that easy? All right. Next one's gonna be two. And we're not gonna take a lot of breaks. We're gonna get right into the two. So, two. Two it is. One. Two. And I'm really thinking about the pole thing. I'm thinking about oh, we should do the pole, next pole stream. Should we do it on Friday? Maybe. Maybe. We did it on Sunday, right? The other day. So Friday, probably, probably a good day. Because I want to like do it every day, every week once. Just like, just like polling and chilling. Let's see. Three reps now. Now it's three reps. Still going up. Vamos arriba. Tres. Uno. Dos. Tres. Four. Next time four. Four reps, then five, and then it's going down again. So, up, let's do four. One, two, three, Four. It's getting harder. 
Top 5 will be hard. En el cementerio. Catatumba. <risa> Please, es catatumba. Qué bien. El nombre. Ah, oh, Mauti, eres tan bonito. Tan bonita. Mauti está piensa que. Ella piensa que compraron la X-Stage, la barra, solamente para ella, porque ahora siempre está durmiendo encima de las, de las uh, maletines del, del Paul. Y son sus maletines ahora. And thank you everyone for being here, for working out with me, for supporting me, for liking the stream, for subscribing, for commenting, and just for, yeah, just for watching already. Thank you. Thank you. Five reps, five dips. I'm gonna in the cam a bit like that so five and then it's going down again let's do this we can we can one two three four Five. Woo! Nice. Hallo, Bosa. Willkommen und Grüße nach Deutschland zurück. Willkommen, willkommen, willkommen. So, wir können hier wieder sehen. Haha. So, now it's going down again. Four reps. Just four reps for the next one. Solamente. Cuatro reps, no, vier reps jetzt, Leute. Vier Stück nur. Let's do this. Going down. Going down, 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 down. Ay. One. Two. Three. And last one for this set. Four. Oh, next one is gonna be three. That's gonna be way easier, right? Three and less is just, it's really doable. Everything else is harder. I'm thinking about what we're gonna do with the pull-ups. I was thinking maybe, maybe we're not gonna do a lot of reps, but maybe we're going to do 10 times three, something like that. Something like that, right? So that we like kind of train a bit of endurance. I don't know yet. Instead of like doing a lot, or we just do as many as we can. But if we do as many as we can, I won't be able to do more than six or seven max right now. Um, so I don't know, but maybe anyway. So let's do three dips. Three dips. <sighs> One. Two, three, Woo. next one just two, let's have a sip of water first, then two, then one, and then the dips are done, and that even rhymes, and two, then one, and then the dips are done. One more. I was thinking maybe, maybe we should do those like three times, uh, ten times three pull-ups, and in between we can do up work, right? In between we always do up work, so we always start combining these things. This sounds like something that uh, we'll be doing. I just gotta get a list, something where I can like cross off 
because like, if it's 10 then i'm i know i'm going to get lost and not going to do enough or do too little or do too much and yeah we don't want neither of those things do we so last dip last dip last dip one dip one easy right let's stretch those shoulders so you could easily like if you have a bar here you could like lean down on that bar put it push your shoulders down or if you don't have one you surely have a wall and you could do that on a wall too oh so so like i said next thing we're gonna do we're gonna do 10 times three pull-ups i don't really care if you do the pull-ups um like if you do pull-ups with this grip this is what i'm gonna do with that grip or with a neutral grip whatever pull-up bar you have the important thing is that you're all the way down and you pull all the way up over the bar and down it's just three reps each time so we should be able to pull or chin over the bar each time at least for the first five sets after that okay maybe just up to the nose but yeah if you don't know how to do a pull up what you gonna do and you have a pull up bar what you gonna do thank you for whoever whoever subscribed thank you um if you have a pull up bar right if you have a pull up bar and you don't know how to do a pull up you come up somehow climbing up putting a chair above uh, underneath you yeah you come up up here and then you do the negative letting yourself down as slowly as you can bit by bit until you're hanging here and you go down you go up again and you let yourself slowly down again you will probably just make one negative each time that we're gonna do three because you're gonna do it slow really slow but yeah that's totally fine if you don't have a pull-up bar what you gonna do you can do the down dog push-ups that we did in the beginning so or handstand push-ups even like yeah you could be doing handstand push-ups against the wall right put your bum against the wall like that <clears throat> and then you just go like that right if you feel like that you could do that don't have to go low uh, don't have to doesn't have to be a big range of motion as you see i just I could not like if I go all the way my head will just like drop to the floor so this or you could do the down dog push up again so you come to a down dog you can bend your knees here a bit and then you flare out with your arms and do this one right so these are your options choose one choose one and choose wisely or switch them up um yeah Let's start with the first three pull-ups. The first three out of 10 sets. Not the first three sets, but the first set out of 10. So, are you ready? Okay. One, two, three. For the ones who are good at push pull-ups, this should be easy. Do you give private lessons? No, not so far. <laughs> I just do the streams. Maybe someday. Maybe so. Ah, oh, Marcy, you want to leave? Wait. The cat is wants. The cat wants to leave. Okay. Yep. There she goes. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna move that up a bit. So that you see me better. So. <laughs> now. Um, we're going to do the second set right away. And then we're going to do some abs. Right? So let's get into the second set. We're hanging here. One. Two. Three. 
down. <laughs> so now we're gonna do abs. Now we're gonna do some abs. Um, if you have, if you have a power tower and these handles, you can come up here and we do knee tucks, 10. If you don't have a power tower, by the way, shoulders away from me, if you don't have a power tower, you can come to the floor on your elbows here and tuck here, right? And you do the tucks here. Totally fine. So in Californian sun. Hi, Granny. Yes. Californian sun would be nice. I've been to California once a long time ago. It's a long, long time ago. That's like, I don't know how long ago. 15 years? It was nice. It was really nice. So, gracias, Marco. Thank you, Marco. Marco, uh, how do you say? Mille, mille grazie. <laughs> okay, let's do those 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Where? Um, I've been to uh, LA and Santa Barbara. It was just like two days because actually I was doing uh, volunteer work in Grand Canyon National Park in Arizona. So, or like in Flagstaff I was and I was doing that in, I was going to, to, to Grand Canyon to work there. Um, volunteer work, like it didn't pay me, they just gave me food. It was totally worth it. It was totally worth it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But yeah, then I came to, for the for flying back, I came to LA, spent one or two days in LA, and one day, or one one afternoon in Santa Barbara. Yeah, it's very nice, it's really cool. I mean, you need a car to get around. But yeah, it's really nice, it's really cool. And it's so nice and warm, so nice and warm. But yeah, it's been, it's been a long time. I wanna go back there one day. And San Diego, I've been to San Diego and San Diego Zoo. I've been to the San Diego, San Diego was very beautiful. San Diego was like something I think like, well, San Diego is like such a beautiful city because it's not so big. It's not so, I mean, it's big, but it's not so big, not so huge as is uh, LA. And it's like, very, it was very beautiful back then. It's been a while, but yeah. And the zoo was nice back then too. They had like this, uh, I don't know how it's called, where you could like be, you would be like in, in above everything, like in some something like passing right above everything. I, I don't know. I'm more, ah, okay. The redwoods, nice. In the redwoods, like I learned in Ark Survival Evolved from the redwoods, there's like, there's like very, very dangerous dinosaurs there. <laughs> so let's do another three pull up. And the nice thing about LA and San Diego, like it's so close to Mexico. So you can just go to, to Mexico. And if there's good food, right? Mexican food is the best. I love Mexican food. Let's do three pull-ups. One. Two. Three. So that was three sets of 10 sets that we got to do. Oh, ever been to Germany? Me? Yes, I have been. <laughs> I've, I've been to Germany. I've been. I, I am from Germany. Ich, äh, ich komme aus, aus, ich komme aus Deutschland. Deshalb war ich auch da. Aber ich lebe in Spanien seit zehn Jahren. Zehn Jahre Spanien. Ist auch gutes Wetter. Aber LA ist Wetter noch besser. Like I'm living in Spain and the weather here is super nice. But the weather in LA and San Diego, I think, is still better. It's still warmer in winter because here in winter time, when I'm here where I live, it's like not cold, not as cold as in Germany, right? It's like not snowing or anything. Although this year, one day it was snowing. And just that day, I had like a rental car. And I don't actually drive, I don't drive a lot. But like that day I had a rental car because we were moving to a new apartment and I had to like drive like to the snow. And and uh, people were saying like, yeah, be careful. Like the, the Spanish people, they don't know how to like, how to drive when it's snowing. And I was like, oh my God, like I don't know how to drive when it's snowing. I've never like driven with snow. And we were just like, we was creeping down the lane. It was, it was terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> okay, let's do another, let's do another um, 10 leg tucks. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> and still for the last two. Oh my gosh, really? That's terrible. Isn't it terrible? In snow? I mean, if it's raining, it's one thing, but snow? Like, because you never know if the road is like going to be like super like icy or not or and like depending on where you're at like when I, that day that i was driving and it was snowing and because it never snows here like it does snow in the mountains but like not where the where the roads are so i've seen like i think i've seen like nine cars that were in accidents like when i just passed by they're just like on three kilometers like nine cars you just go slow yeah it's just slow you could probably walk faster but well Okay, um, another set of three pull-ups. Let's do this. It's the fourth set. The fourth of ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Smoke those, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Maybe it always depends like if the snow is like really annoying like because in Berlin, I'm from Berlin and they like it's not snowing like a lot but it snows in winter once in a while regularly some years more other years not and people are kind of used to snow and we have the equipment like to get the snow out of the way but like here um, where I live in Spain it's like people are not used to it snowing so it took like more time to like arrange everything I think people just got crazy and got very worried me too and yeah, that's making that's making it worse. That's making it worse. Monster Day? No, actually, I'm not drinking Monster anymore because it's so expensive. Also, Monster is probably not good for my health, but like that's like not so much that I'm worrying about because I'm pretty healthy. But um, but it's very expensive. It's like about I think it's like almost like two euros a, a can now, maybe or one seventy or something. It's crazy. It's crazy for just for like five hundred milliliters of drink. That's not even good for you. This is like almost like smoking. Well, not as bad as smoking, but yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, California weather? Well, yeah, maybe. I don't know, maybe. Depending on where in California, right? Because California is like so big. Depending, like if you're like in the nor Northern California, I think it's pretty cold even in the winter, right? Okay, let's do another set of three pull-ups. One. Two, three. Oh. This was the fifth set, so we're halfway through. Yeah, Southern California, okay. Yeah, might be, I don't know. I think, depending on where in Spain you're at, uh, might be warmer even. Is it, is it, it's not, it's warm in the winter there. It's not snowing, is it, a lot? Usually, well, depending. Probably depends on the place. I mean, here it's not snowing a lot either, but it's kind of cold. And the houses here, they're not so isolated. So like, if it's cold outside, if it's like 8 degrees or 10 degrees outside, um, if it's cold outside, it's cold inside. Or oh, Mexico, yes. Mexico. So, let's do 10 leg tucks. Or the ones on the floor I showed you. You can do them on the floor with your hands behind you. Let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're halfway through with the pull-ups. Just five more sets. Five more sets of pull-ups, guys. That sounds a lot, but it's just three pull-ups each set, so it's not so much. Let's get right into the next set. The sixth set. One. Two. Three. Ugh. Getting harder, but we're still making it. And 10 leg tucks. Not so many breaks right now. One hour <clears throat> into the warm up, uh, into the workout. 
the warm up. We're done with the warm up. This is the workout. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, if you have the pull up bar, you could just like hang a moment. Quick break, just walk in place doing something. Four more sets of pull ups. When we're done with the pull ups, I'm going to get myself some more water because my water is almost done. Okay. Let's do the seventh, seventh, seventh set, seventh set, 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 set. PH sometimes is a is a is a hard thing for us non-native speakers. One, two, Three. Okay, it's getting harder to get that chin up there. Just like barely touch it. Hi, Adam. Welcome. So seven sets. Three more. Three more sets of three. This is a total of nine pull-ups that we still have to do. Let's roll our wrists a bit. Maybe slide down our hands at the sides of our body here. Right? to, uh, yeah, to take a quick break. No more leg tucks for the moment. Unless you really want to do them, then feel free. And now reach over. Ah, other side. Ah, again. Again. So, what about, do we attempt to do the eight, 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 that? Let's go. Let's go. We gotta get those done. One. Two. Three. Oh my, oh my. Woo. Eight. Two more sets. You do this for like one arm? Wow, this is great. I wish I could do that. I wanted to learn that, but it's pretty hard. So I should probably try to do the negative first, right? I tried that once and I just like dropped down. <laughs> I tried, I get got up there and I was like, okay, now do the negative. Like, just like let yourself down slowly. And I just like, Bleh. I went down all the way. <laughs> maybe one day, maybe one day. I gotta lose some fat for that, I guess, so that I, I don't have so much dead weight to carry. <laughs> okay, let's do the ninth, ninth set. So like, this is like a good thing, like if three pull-ups, 10 times three pull-ups is too easy for you, you just do one arm pull-ups, right? This is like a total legit way to make it harder, yeah? So. One, two, three. Ah. Ah. When you do them with one arm, do you like, uh, does it matter? Like, do you do like this grip or this grip? Do you do the chin up? Or is it like this one or the side one? Doesn't really matter, right? Or oh, the side one would probably be the best, right? If you would do like, like this, and I couldn't do that. If I hang from one arm, like I don't even get up. <laughs> and I try to pull up, it's not working. I'm just like pulling, 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 and nothing's happening. Oh. Maybe one day. Um, so, <laughs> let's do the last set for today for the pull up. Three.
One, two, three. So that was it, 30 pull-ups in total, but in 10 sets. Doesn't matter, it sounds good. Like today I did 30 pull-ups. This sounds like a lot. Um, nice. So I'm gonna get myself something to drink and go to the bathroom real quick. So um, I'll leave you guys here on your own for a second. Um, feel free to get something to drink too, to make a bathroom break or something. I'm gonna play one app, but you're not gonna miss anything because I won't be here. So see you in a sec. See you in a sec. Good morning, how are you? It's shining like a diamond. It's the is it like Beyonce? It's shining like a diamond. You know when it's it's shining like a diamond. I don't know. I don't know the lyrics, but it's like there's something with diamonds, right? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Oh, I gotta get the mic. 
set up here close to my bosom and this strap it's like totally like try to get it straight but it's 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 it's, it's, it's not working it's working now okay it's straight this one too get it straight now that i'm sweating so much um i always notice that it's harder to pull up those pants right just the sweat is just so stupid don't we have no music no more? What happened to the music? Okay. I just start. Okay. Music? Hello? Mountain is here. Right. Nice. So. And she's setting the right tone right away. Meow, meow. So now, up exercises. You're gonna do some abs. We're gonna do toe taps. Toe taps, right? Hanging here. It's good up exercise. You try to bring those toes up there. If you don't, if you're not able to do that, you do leg tuck. You tuck your legs. If you don't have a pull-up bar, which could be a possibility, um, you can do jackknives here on the floor. All right, and up. If this is too hard with both legs, you do one leg at a time, and then the other leg at a time. If you do those two, this was for Marco, I hope you're listening. Um, if you did the, do the, oh, it looks like I have a beaver head. <laughs> uh, if you do these, if you, if you do these, um, then, um, I want you to do 10 instead of five, right? If not, do five with me. Yeah, she thinks what the fuck, she's like, why are you moving? Like, you should chill, you should chill. She's, uh, yeah, she's a lazy cat. Like, er almost every cat, but she's especially lazy. She invented laziness. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ugh. Quick break. We're gonna do three sets. So, two more sets. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be so tired later today because I'm going to the park. I'm going to Palma to the park with a friend. We're going to hang the silks, and yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be kind of sad though because she's, she's, she won't be here next week or like until the end of May, I think. So, so I might like go alone to the park other days oh i still have to find a tree here close by because like it doesn't like make much sense like to go to palma if i find something here closer by i mean i found one tree it's going to rain oh no here not hopefully the rainy season is over here let's do another five another five one Two, three, four, five. Oh. Hola, Francisco. Welcome. 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 Gracias. Obrigada. Um. So, and I'm still thinking: Are we going to do? Are we going to do a pull and stream on Friday? If we do pole dancing and then I take down the pole and we stretch afterwards, it would actually be nice. But then we will still have the taking down of the pole. And like it took us, I think it took us half an hour last time. But I mean, it's not so bad, right? Half an hour we can just chat while we do that. Why not? Why not? Because it doesn't make sense like to do the pole stream, 
then to make a break and to stream again we should just go through let's see we'll see we'll see we'll decide we'll decide last set here vamos Vamos a la playa, a mí me gusta bailar. El ritmo de la noche, the sounds of fiesta. Okay, no more playing around. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh. We made it. Now, um, if you want to take it up a notch. Oh, what are you? If you want to take it up a notch, you could put on anchor weights. Yes, smelly. <laughs> so, mine are one, kg, one kilogram each, so it's two kilograms on each leg. So in total, it's four kilograms of additional weight. Um, yeah, that's like roughly 4.4 pounds, I think. And you can decide if you put them on, if you don't put them on, still a good workout if you don't. Um, and yeah. You can do all these exercises on the floor too. We knew you used to use the pull-up bar and the power tower, but if you don't have a power tower, uh, a pull-up bar or something like that, um, you could just be doing, for example, leg lifts, right? I'm showing you for a second. Um, for the next exercise, if you don't have a pull-up tower, you could like put your hands underneath your bum to support your lower back that your lower back is glued to the floor at all times and then you could just go do these right or you could even come up here and do them here right this is what you do if you don't have a tower power tower if you have a power tower if you have a pull-up bar especially right now we're going to do the knee tucks again but like not propping us up here but hanging hanging from Hanging from here, hanging from the pull-up bar, and we're gonna do 10 reps. Right, let's do this. Hang here and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and up. Gonna do two more sets. Two more sets of those. Whew. Four. Hi, Chelsea. I don't really get that. Who's gotta go and knock someone out and why? And they're like, what, what knocking out? Like, because it's such a hard exercise. <laughs> is it just me or is, who doesn't understand? <laughs> is my brain like so depleted of oxygen already <laughs> because of the force? He's being too, okay. Okay, yeah, well, I don't get that. Like, I'm just a, I'm such an innocent person. <laughs> Welcome anyway. <laughs> so, guys, another set, another 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and up. One more set. I can feel it in my fingers, right? My fingers are 
Look at my fingers. Look at my man hands. Look at those calluses. Hey. Like if I like stroke someone, it's if you're getting like touched by a by a teeny tiny construction worker. <laughs> this is from pole dancing in the area of silks, right? I need that. I need that. Oh again, I can <laughs> hard working hands, yes, yes, yes. They are So, so, ten more. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah, I, I need those hands because I'm doing a lot of a lot of acrobatics. Like in acrobatics, we need that. We need that. And yeah, I think I'm pretty decided now that on Friday we're going to do a pole stream. We're going to do pole around midday, a bit later, and then I'm gonna take down the pole during the stream and then we stretch so everyone who just wants to stretch can join in later i'm gonna put it in the title maybe what time we're gonna stretch what time we're gonna do the pole so that people know when to when to be there if they don't want to do the pole part um okay so we're done with those right we're done with those we're not done with the legs and with our abs so and not done with our shoulders now we gotta do something more for your shoulders. Um, you need a pull-up bar. If you don't have a pull-up bar, again you could come into a down dog, right? And then you just shrug your shoulders. You kind of shrug your shoulder up and shrug, up and shrug. Right? This would be the version um, here. You could do it on a hand, the handstand as well. Oh my god! Like it's gonna get. Oh, it's hard to get up. And then shrug, shrug. Shrug, shrug, right? It's weird to do that, to get into the, to lift your legs up with those anchor weights. It's, uh, it's different, it's different. So, um, and if you have a pull-up bar, you're just gonna hang here and shrug your shoulders, just like about 10 times, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, doesn't really matter. It's just a teeny tiny move all those small muscles right so hanging here and shrug five more five four three two one doing handstand on the wall yeah that was nice the child it was so easy to do that right as an adult you have to like re like regain the the regain the oh, re-lose the fear of that because as a child like you're not you're not scared of anything you just do a handstand like at a wall or not even if there's a wall you just like fall over and you just don't care you just get up and you do it again and as an adult you're like oh my god i might fall over <laughs> so I, I, I accidentally paused the I accidentally paused the timer so I don't know for how long we've been working out actually I don't know when I paused it we had 120 and the stream is at 135 so I guess like about 10 minutes ago I'm sorry guys I'm sorry I've still been 10 minutes uh, let's do another set of those another set of those Ah, oh, we could even do that like we could do them if you have a wide grip pull up bar you could do 10 with the white grip shoulder shrugs five more five four three two one yeah and one more set it's usually three sets sometimes i do two sometimes three I 
I gotta write down that I want to do the timer for the planks. I want to do a plank timer, long plank timer. Um, when do I do that? On Friday, maybe? Plank timer. Ta da! I have this beautiful, beautiful thing where I write all the things down that I want to do. So I do them. And then I cross them off, and then it makes me happy to cross them off. Like, I've done that today, yes. <laughs> I'm sick right now, I'm sorry. Um, no, you should try it. It's very, it's very, it's very nice, like, to have a list of things you want to do, and then if you've done them all, it just feels so, you just feel so accomplished. Um, another set of ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Whew. Okay. We um, move it to the floor, I'd say. Because we give those hands a rest hanging there. We leave the ankle weights on though. I can put the ball back here. Ah, I wanted to do stuff with the ball as well. Yeah, we do that when we take off the ankle weights. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put the cam down here. So I'm gonna run an ab break. You're not going to lose anything because I'm going to change the angle of the cam. So yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, you're not going to miss anything. I'll be here changing some stuff. So. Maybe you're still here, maybe you don't see the app. I have to take that. Okay. We'll take a second. Go down here. Maybe you don't see the app, then you see me doing stuff here. Oh wait, I guess there's an easier way to do that, right? I could just open all of them. Like that. And what am I missing here? Okay. Yeah, something's not oh this one. Okay. Oh you can see Malty now! You can see her maybe. Look at her, how beautiful she is. Now, wow, you're so old. You old. You have patches, but there's no hair. You're growing bald. She's old. That's why she's like, uh, she's a grandma. She's a grumpy grandma. So. There we go. Okay, so um, we're down here on the floor. Yeah, and thank you for being here, everyone. Thank you for enjoying the stream, working out with me. Um, I'm gonna put on the stream again here so I can reach you guys better. Can reach you better. I I've came to like change the camera angle so that the camera is now down here. I don't know if you like it better like that, or if you prefer it when the camera was like more angling down for this part of the workout. I don't know. Let me know. Um. Like this, it seems closer. Good morning, Beste. Willkommen, willkommen. Mauzi war gerade schon im Bild. Ich weiß nicht, ob du sie gesehen hast, äh, aber falls du sie nicht gesehen hast, äh, zeige ich sie dir natürlich nochmal, weil Mauzi ist natürlich, du bist ja wegen Mauzi hier eigentlich da. Da ist Mauzi. Mauzi ist ganz nah an der Kamera. 
Mhm. Mauzi hat in mich beschlossen, dass die Kamera, dass die Tosachen, die ich gekauft habe, eigentlich für sie sind. Also die, die Poldanzstange, die ich geholt habe, ist, also die Verpackung davon ist auf alle Fälle einfach nur dazu gekauft worden, damit sie darauf sind. Logischerweise. So, um, once, let's, let's just really quickly check. If we're in when I do a down dog. Um, so, for the moment, um, we're going to leave those ankle weights on. And then I want you, if you have a ball, if you have a bar ball, grab the bar ball, right? Or a squishy playground ball. If you don't have one, doesn't matter. You can get this one at Decathlon. I think it's like three or five euros. It's super cheap and you can do a lot of exercise with it. I, I really recommend it, but like you don't need it. You don't need it. You could roll up a towel or use a couch cushion, or you could like for the exercise we're about to do now, you could just put your hands underneath your bum to create that like, like um, couch or that like hole for your lower back. So your lower back is on the floor at all times. And you can do this here. Oh, Mauti. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> and if you do have a ball, then you need a new carton. Yeah. Yeah, she needs a new carton. She has two taschen here, quasi. She has yeah, the one, the big taschen, and the smaller, but she needs, on all cases, something new. Sonst it's just boring. So now, if you want, so you can put that ball. Underneath your bum here, right? Underneath your bum. Legs out here. Knees over hips. Um, hands by your sides. And the same thing applies if you don't have the ball underneath. If you have your hands here instead of the ball. Hips underneath knee. And then we tap down with one side and then with the other. And we actually don't change the like, like the uh, shape of the leg, if you can see. Um, my knees stay the same, which is lifting and lowering the knees from the hips. Oh, I got a cramp in my leg and my, my foot there. I gotta, I gotta, like, I, I would recommend you, like, to point them, but, like, you can, you can, like, uh, you can flex them if you feel like you're getting a little crampy foot there. I just did. Oh, ah, oh, okay. My... It's my left foot that's getting kind of crampy here, so I'm gonna flex both of them, which is okay. I tend to get foot cramps when I point my feet too much, and I think it's like lack of training. I should, oh, I should train them more. Whew. Hi, JK, welcome. And down. Um, and it's totally normal to feel that a lot in your quads. Right? The quads are part of the hip flexors and the hip flexors are part of the quad. And now, if you want to take it up a notch, move both legs up and down. Both up and down. Up and down. Oh, this is really hard. We're just going to do 10 more here. 10. 9. 8. Seven, six, five, four, three. Oh, oh, Malta, sorry. Two, one. Legs up. I'm gonna read the chat. Ah. Hi, Jackson. Welcome. I just speak Spanish, English, and German, so if you want to talk to me, please write in those languages. So now, still with the ball underneath or bum. We're going to do something easier now. Legs towards or chest. This is really easy. It should be easy at least. Right? It's a recovery move right now. We're recovering here. Hola, ¿qué tal? Buena. Bienvenido. Okay, now. Up here. 
and move one leg straight down like that. You can do all of this with your hands underneath your bum, right? You don't have to have a ball. This is all a pretty good training for a lower back. Up and down. What about going with both legs? You don't have to go all the way down though. Halfway is fine, it's especially if you like uh, using ankle weights because it's pretty hard with ankle weights, isn't it? And you could even bend your legs. You could like do this with bent legs like that. It's easier for you. <laughs> Let's do 10 more here. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now you can get rid of that ball, right? Get rid of that ball if you're using one. We stay here. And again, one leg up, other leg up, and then we just press up with the strength of our lower abs. It's not a momentum move, so we're like not rolling here, right? We just like press up as vertically as we can. And I paused the workout again, guys. I'm sorry. What time is it anyway? It's 12. Okay, so we still have a bit of time. <laughs> Half an hour or maybe, like something like that. Because we got to finish a bit earlier today because I'm going to Palma. But yeah. Up. And up. Oh, is leaving again? Okay. I, if you want to leave, wait, okay, quick break so I can let Marcy out. Yes, I'll let you out, don't worry. Okay. Grab some water. Now that we're taking a break, we're taking a water break. Okay, next move. You could do that with ankle weights or without. I'm going to switch sides because I think the power tower will annoy me if I do it this way around. So, hi Agus, welcome. So, you come onto your back, then legs up, you roll over, tap, and you roll back. Right? This is the move that we're doing here. Nice and controlled, maybe. You need to have your hands still underneath your bum here when you go back because uh, it's still a leg lift and you still want to have your lower back squeezed into the floor. Oh. Ah, welcome. Welcome to my stream. Uh, over. I'm back. Just a few more. And then we're going to grab that ball back there. Big blue and uh, the big blue one yes the bl big green one and work with that one Up. let's do three more so this is number one And two. <laughs> and the last one. 
There's a way to break your back. Well, if you if you have trouble with your back, you should have your hands below your feet. <laughs> this is just and this is advanced. So if you don't, if you are not very flexible, you don't have to go all the way over as well. Hi, uh, I cannot read your name, but welcome, uh, welcome, welcome. So let's get rid of the ankle weights and grab that big ball. Right, we grab the big ball if you have a big ball. If you don't have a big ball, never mind. Um, you can do most exercises, so I will just like give you ideas of how to do that without. So. Okay. Okay, what we're gonna do first, what we're gonna do first of all, it's hard. If you don't have the ball, you could just um, do a forearm plank. I'm gonna show you without. You can do a forearm plank, um, right? Forearm plank. And from the forearm plank, you get into the dolphin. Dolphin is where you have your back straight. You align your forearms with your um, back and down. This is what you do if you don't have the ball, right? But if you do have the ball, um, or you can even do like a planks to down dog if you'd like. But uh, in the uh, that one back there, right? Come to a high plank with your feet on that ball. <laughs> and then we pull in and back out again. In and back out. In and back out. Oh, take care. Okay, then see you. Um, see you. Say hello to the mechanic. And see you soon, hopefully. You can like come in closer if it's too hard. Thanks to 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Ah. See you next time. Bye bye. Have a good day. Whew. So, let's do 10 more of these. And again, you can do the dolphins instead, or if the dolphin, uh, a dolphin to form plank get too hard for you, you could also do um, come into a plank and come to down dog and plank and down dog. Right? This is another way to do this uh, to train your abs as well. Many versions that you can choose from if you don't have a ball. If you do have a ball, we're gonna do another set of ten. Uh, oh, this was for Marco. Yeah. Ball underneath the legs. Up. And one, two. 
Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Whew. You have to go. Okay, goodbye. Thank you for being here. Here's for you too, for everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you next time, hopefully. And yeah, bye bye. So, guys, um, oh, it's like a big basketball. Imagine. Okay, I don't want to annoy the neighbors. Um, there's another thing I want to try. I don't know if I'll be able to do that actually. Um, but it's it's um, it's similar to what we just did. But this time we try to keep our legs straight. Let's see if I do it or we just like fall down and you have to call an ambulance. No, no, that will not happen. Um, but yeah, let's try. Selina! Wie geht's dir? Wie lief deine Prüfung denn eigentlich? Hast du gestern gar nicht gesagt? So. Hi, Demon. Welcome. I cannot read that. Um, if you want me to like understand, you have to write in English, German or Spanish. So, um, the thing, the other move would be like that. Okay, yeah. Okay, we try to leave our legs straight. Hab alles ausgefüllt. Okay, nice. Aber wenn du alles ausgefüllt hast, dann Up. Right, this is the next one that we do. We try to leave our, our legs as straight as possible, but be careful. And if you don't have a ball, you can do the down dog to plank. Up. 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 Let's hold it up there for 10 counts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down. Ah. Ah. Aber wenn du alles ausgefüllt hast, dann hattest du Zeit über oder war es knapp zeitlich? So, that was good. We're going to do that again. Five reps and then we hold it for 10 counts. You're down there. I'm still looking up there because the cam used to be up there. Now the cam is down there. Look me in the eye. Look me in the eye. Okay, zeitlich war echt gut. Okay, nice. Gut, gut. Wenn man dann keinen Stress hat, dann geht's ja schon mal. Viel mehr vorgestellt, okay. Ja. Die machen euch bestimmt vorher mehr Angst, damit ihr hart lernt und so ein bisschen, ja, damit die Leute, weil wenn du den, wenn den Leuten so vermittelst, dass es, ein, dass es nicht so hart ist, dass es nicht so viel ist, dann lernen vielleicht viele gar nicht und äh, versagen dann. Okay, next step. Next step. So, again. We come here, we come up here, and then straight. One, two, three, four, five. On the next one, we stay up there and hold it for 10 counts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, and done, and down. Oh. Einfach drei Wochen warten. Dann kriegt ihr erst die Lösung voll ätzend, ne? Der voll ätzend. Oh. We're not done with the ball yet. We're gonna get up there again into a plank. And then we're gonna lift one foot up and the other. Let's see how that goes. And I think at 12.30, we have to get into the stretching. Das ist wenigstens eine Dreie bestimmt. Wenn du alles ausgefüllt hast und das hier zeitlich nicht so krass vorkam. Okay, ball behind us again, right?
Besser, genau. Besser immer, ne? Okay. Und come up again. And what we do now, we lift one leg off. And then the other. Up. And up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. You can do this. You could do this on the floor just for in a plank, by the way. Rechnen, was einfach so war? Okay. Ja, weil beim Rechnen weißt du halt wahrscheinlich genau, was du machen musst, wenn du die Formeln weißt. Und bei, wenn du was schreiben musst, dann ist halt wieder das Ding, dann musst du gucken, wie formulierst du das jetzt, hast du alles korrekt formuliert und so, ne? So, guys. We gotta do another one. If you don't have the ball, just come into a high plank and just lift your legs up. One leg the other, one the other, right? This is a, this is something. Yeah. Okay. And again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's roll up here again in that pose and hold it again for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah! My foot, my left foot is getting crampy again. Ah. Uh, Erzähl mal, was der Schule gar nicht echt aus, Herr Doof. Da musstest du einfach selber denn von dir aus quasi deine Meinung schreiben oder dein Verständnis. Habla siniestro. Ah, no, no lo es. Y el alemán ni es tan. Creo que ni, ni suena tan. tan. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Tan fuerte, claro que fuerte. Pero suena más fuerte cuando lo habla gente que no es alemán. Por ejemplo, como se dice yo, es ich. Y la gente que no sabe pronunciar alemán dice. Ich, ich. Y claro, that sounds really, es, eso sí, sí suena muy, muy duro, pero la pronunciación fíjate sería ich, que es muy suave, la verdad. Que el alemán hablado por alemanes puede ser suave. Brasil. Hi, Sanga, welcome. Meiste war gerade egal. Wenn du eine Grundahnung hast, dann wird es bestimmt gut. Okay, we gotta do another thing. Um, Come here. You can do um, this. All of all what I'm doing here on the ball, you can just do it in a plank. Instead of the ball underneath your feet, you just have the floor underneath your feet, you're just in a plank. So, um, legs up here. One leg up. The other one's down. Then you lift that leg up and you pull it up for 10 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to the first side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Ah. Ah. That's the end of it. Oh, we're on the way. We're on the way. Stars it all through for where we. Okay. Um. More. More stuff. This was pretty good, right? This was good for the abs. Um, we're gonna do, we're gonna do now a forearm plank on the ball, but you can do the forearm plank on the floor as well. If you don't have the ball, just do it on the floor. But if you do have a ball, um, you can do your forearm plank here, right? Like that, and then in with those legs. 
in. And you could do that on the floor as well. That's a 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down. And we're done with the ball. We're done with the ball, or if you didn't have a ball, we're done with the ball too. <laughs> that you didn't have. <laughs> Do you hear the water in my mouth? I don't think you hear it, but I can hear it like splashing around. Um, we're going to do side planks now, right? We still have, we just have, oh my god, do we just have like about 10, 10 to 15 minutes left, but we're going to do side planks for our abs, right? Because we want to get those abs, um, yeah, shred it. So, you can do most of them on your knees, right, like that. If you don't want to do them on your feet, um, important is always, doesn't matter if you do them on your feet or on your um, knees, shoulders away from ears, right? Shoulders away from ears, elbow underneath your shoulder. So, um, for the first exercise, come up here into this plank, and then we bring this together, the lower um you can actually not do that on your knees. It's like the only thing that you cannot do on your knees, but all the other exercises you can. Uh, we're going to do that, and we're going to do that for 10 reps, right? For 10 reps. And then we're going to lift that leg off for 10 reps. You're ready for that. It's not so much, it's not so hard. It's not easy though. Okay, so let's come up here. And one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That one down and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And was that hard or was that okay? Other side. Same thing. Are you ready? Shoulders away from ears. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten okay back to the first side we're gonna uh do the first part again right where we bring oh actually you could like do this like this if you don't want to do it up there but this would be super easy right uh we're gonna do this again and then we're gonna leave that leg out there and pulse it up like that from the plank right and yeah, you could do that without like sitting on your bum, but that is kind of cheating. I'd rather try to do the whole thing. I know it's hard. I know it's hard, planks are, but planks are also They are beautiful. And I'm gonna turn the timer here on. Uh, the timer, the phone on, so you can use it as a timer after that. Okay. Let's go. Shoulders over elbow and up let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and down other side. And one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down. How are you feeling? Feeling something in your obliques? Now, more side planks. More side planks. We're gonna do one minute of side plank dips. Right? One minute. So I'm gonna have a timer here. Instead of starting it up there, because then I can do it faster. And yeah. Now you could do them on your knees. Easily. Easily on your knees. Woohoo! Baba sala playa, ami me gusta baila. Every morning and night, we sell so fiesta. Okay. So, either on your knees or all the way on your feet. Dipping down with those hips. One minute, let's go. Up and down. And you can have this arm here above your head, here, at your side. Doesn't really matter. Up, up. Push through. It's just one minute, 20 seconds in so far. Don't forget to breathe. Halfway through, just 30 more seconds. Up, push up. Up and up. Side planks are really good for your muffin top area and for your obliques, right? And we need those obliques. They're very good for posture, for everything. 10 more seconds, almost done. Five, four, three, two, one, done, other side, other side, but take a quick breath, take a quick breath, I think we're working out for two hours now, for about two hours, so, or maybe more, I'm gonna check in a sec, so, other side, you ready? And let's do this. And dip. Hips, um, chest is open, right? Chest is open, we're not like turned in here. Up, up. This side feels easier. 20 seconds in. Up and up. 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 20 more seconds and we're done with that side plank. We're gonna do a forearm plank though after that. Bye. Four, three, two, one, done. Drink something, drink something, and then we're going to do the forearm plank. You can do the forearm plank like that. In a triangle pose, in a swings pose, doesn't really matter. Important is your bum is not up in the sky. It's everything is nice and engaged. And yeah, that's what we're going to do now. Planking. I love planking. Great. So, are you ready? Let's go. Let's come into that forearm plank. Again, bum is not up here, bum is down here. Everything nice and engaged. Abs are engaged, bum is engaged, shoulders are engaged. Everything. And we're gonna hold it for one minute and then we're gonna move a bit. Adjust a bit, so push through. And breathe. Halfway through, 30 seconds, halfway through the hold. 
After that, we're going to push up into the di uh, into dolphin, right? Into the dolphin. And if you feel like you're in the threes pose and it's annoying you, you can come into the other pose in between uh, during the set, right? No problem. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now, dolphin to forearm plank. It's good if you have a mirror so you can see if you're like actually getting up there. Straight back, align, for, uh, align your um, upper arms with your back and bam, up in the air. Shifting one minute with those. Halfway through with them right now. Oof. Just 20 more seconds and then we can come onto the floor. Up. Oof. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And whoever wants to, let's hold the dolphin, but you can come down if you want to, but not hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Down. Ta da! Nice. So, Whew. roll those R and those wrists a bit. Roll them. Roll your shoulders back. One side, the other. We didn't do much legs today, right? We didn't do much legs today. So I'd say, right, to, um, to stop, we're gonna do legs as kind of a last thing. Um, I'm gonna put on the timer. If you have a band, you can grab that band, right? Grab that band and put it. Mine is a heavy one, as you can see. Heavy. Um, you can use a lighter one. You can put it above your knees, like above your knees. And then we're gonna do some leg exercises there. I'm gonna start the 60 second timer. And yeah. So we're gonna do some legs in the end but i mean those legs they also they're also good for or um they're also training our abs right it's kind of an ab exercise as well as we move the whole body we could do this even up here right up here if we wanted to maybe this is something that we're going to do today instead of being all the way down i want you to have your elbow underneath your shoulder right so then you're training your obliques a bit as well while doing that and yeah be here if you ever feel like this too much you can come down all the way right but you don't have to you definitely don't have to so we start here legs are like in a 45 degree angle and it we start with clamshells now so clamshells are something where your bottom leg is firmly planted into the floor and you just pull i just turn out Upper leg, no turning back, no turning back. Your heels are glued together. And yeah, and you can have this arm wherever. I just could have it up here. And up. Three minutes on each side. Only three minutes. And pull. And pull. And you can do this totally fine without a band, right? And this is for arms and also for abs because we're like kind of trying to be up here, right? We're holding ourselves up here. We're not like slouching. No slouching. Shoulders away from ears. Up. And up. Okay, now elbow and knee together and out. Together and out. 
together. And out again, we're using our abdominals here. And I want you to always have tension on that band, right? If you have a band. If you don't have a band, obviously it uh, doesn't matter. You could put on ankle weights too, and you can just like, I said, do this exercise without any weights, any extra equipment. Up. Up. Or together, together, together. One more on that side, and then we switch sides. Push. And after that, we stretch, guys. Whew. And up. Two. One. Now, leg up. Like that. Off. Off. And you should feel that here, too. In your abs, stabilizing. Up. Up. Push. That leg up. If you feel like it's too much or if you're slouching, if your ears too close to your shoulder, come down. Come down all the way. It's totally fine. Almost done with that side, guys. Only 30 more seconds to go. Whew. Ah, what burns. 20 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, done. Ah, oh, other side. And after that, we stretch. Well, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break and then we stretch. So, we have still 40 seconds uh, or more. Hi, Mark, you farted. Well, it happens sometimes when you do exercises. It's no problem. <laughs> it's just a normal body function. Hi, Gregory. Good morning. You just want to do a good leg and glute day workout? Well, treadmill is good too for to do that, right? To do that. But like, it's also good like if you have ankle weights and you do stuff with ankle weights or some squats, squat variations. Okay, guys, let's do, let's do this. Other side, clamshell starting in five seconds, right? Five seconds. And up, clamshells. Up, up. So we were focusing on abs today. Yesterday we did more leg workout, but yeah, treadmill is fine too for glutes and uh, up. But also it's like good like maybe to like do some squats with like weights or something, you know, to get, or some glute bridges. Glute bridges are nice too. We haven't done glute bridges in a while, have we? Oh. I said this would be the last part, so it's the last part. And I have to go to the park. I don't have to, I want to. I'm gonna to go to the park later on and train every silk there. So I'll be doing more sports today anyway. Whew, up. And up. Whew. What's a glute bridge? I'm going to show you after uh, after this these three minutes. I can show you. Uh, we first have to finish those, and then I can show you. A glute bridge is where you make a bridge like. Uh, okay, wait. First of all, bam, and together and out, together and out. Where you lie on your back and your feet about hip distance apart, and then you push your glute up and you create kind of a straight line from your um, knees to your shoulders. But I can I can show that in a sec when we're done here in two minutes. Just two minutes and then we're done here. Together and out. Together and out. And together. You can even lean a bit out here over to like get more of an up workout into that. We didn't do that on the other side, but well, we might just do it here now. And make sure that your shoulder is away from your ear. Whew. Almost done guys, just about 10 more seconds here. And then the last exercise on that side and for this thing. Well, more exercise, but more stretchy exercise are coming up. Two, one, back there and up that leg, up, up. Oh my 
Ah, it's so hard. It's burning. Whew. But we can do that. It's just one minute. One minute to go. Not even. I mean, it's just 40 seconds to go, right? And I feel it in my hamstring even. Back here. Wow. Whew. And up. 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 Ah. <laughs> Whew. Up. Ah. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Done. Okay. Ah, let's get rid of that. And I'm going to stop the timer. I'm going to show you really quick the glute bridge. Um, yeah. Okay, for the glute bridge, like, we're, we're going to stretch now, but I'm just going to show the glute bridge. So, the basic glute bridge would be like, you're on your, you probably know it. Turn your back, your feet about hips with a distance apart, and then you push up. This is the glute bridge, right? And you can do many variations of that. You could put a lot of weight on your hips here, and then pushing it, pulsing up there. You can come onto your heels oh, and walk them further out and do it here, right? Which is also like a different attempt, a different way to like get that, to hit some different muscles. And you can even do it on your tippy toes, right? You could do a take, but you still have a band here. And when you're up there, you can move your uh, legs out. You can do a single leg glute bridge. Right, one foot up and just going up and down on one side. Up. Up, right? These are like glute bridge variations. Well, we're done with working out right now. We've got to stretch now. It was just like a uh, broma. El olor. Pero supongo que sí. Supongo que sí. El olor de los, de los pesas de tobillos. <laughs> These are like, and they're like so many versions. So you can just adapt them. You can just go through them. For example, like do 10 reps of each without pausing. And then after you do like 10, then you do, do 10 whole ones. So you stay up there and pulse for 10 times. Then you do 10 of these and pulse for 10 times. And yeah, they're pretty cool. And yeah, so now guys, we're gonna stretch. We're gonna stretch, therefore, I'm gonna, uh, not therefore, but like, I'm, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. So if you need to go to the bathroom too, you can. Mm. And then you're gonna change the music and everything. I'm gonna leave the mic here, right? You don't wanna hear me pee. <laughs> and I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back. So guys, I'm back, I'm back, um, let's put on some silly stretching music, that's just what I'm going 
Okay. Stretch it. Okay, guys, we're going to do what we got to do. We're going to stretch, right? Stretch it. So, let's start in a down dog again, as down dog is such a nice uh, way to start out and stretch it. So, in a down dog, our bum is up, legs are straight if we can, arms aligned with our feet. If we try to bring those feet to the floor, if we can. If we cannot, it doesn't really matter, but we're trying right now to lift the heels off the floor and back down again. Don't forget to breathe. Up and down. Up and down. Paddle it out now. So lift one heel off the floor, bending the knee and then the other. You should be able to get your heel, like the other heel, onto the floor now, maybe with a little hip twist, right? Then onto the floor, hands to the front, we come into a nice puppy pose where our bum stays up and our chest is getting close to the floor. Side to side a bit. And we come up. We roll our shoulders back. To the front. Then we intertwine our fingers behind our back. Make sure we don't get any hair in our mouth. And pull those arms up. You could even lean forward to intensify that stretch. Maybe to one side. The other. Uh, and the other. Up again. Hands in front of us. Palms facing up. Thumbs are showing like to the sides of the room. And then hands down like that to stretch those four arms. And like kind of sway from side to side here. And the other way around, palms facing down, but now the tops of our hands on the floor. Go, shake out.
come into the lunge, you bring one leg to the front, the other one goes back, or knee is on the floor, and push down. Push that hip towards the front foot. Push, push, push. You can sway from side to side here. Sway. Push down again. Maybe you can come onto your forearm, but it's not like an obligation. You just try. If you can, you can. If you can, you can. Doesn't matter. And hold it here for a second. I have to put on sunscreen. Hi, Sergio. And up. Hi. Welcome, welcome. So, gotta reload the chat because it's not showing again. And yeah, guys, thank you for being here, supporting me in the stream. And please don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. So now, um, we're trying to grab that back foot with the opposite arm, right? And push down again. Stretching arms. Yeah, well, this is also like kind of an arm stretch. We're, we're stretching the legs right now. Hi, Walter. But this is kind of stretching the arms. Uh, we're gonna do some arm stretches in between. And come back. Let's do some arm stretches before we do the other side. Oh no, let's do the other side first, before I forgot which side we started with. So let's do the other side, put the other leg in front, into the deep lunge first. Let's do this and then we're going to do some arm stretches before we keep on with the leg stretches. Because yeah, we did work out our arms, but we didn't stretch them too much. Definitely something we should be doing. Push to the front. You can kind of sway from side to side. Here. If you can, come down all the way. Your videos, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'll do them with uh, with love. Okay, now come up again. And if you can, grab that back foot with the opposite arm. Stay here. Putting a nice stretch in that part of the back. And let's go. And now let's yeah, let's stretch our arms for a bit, right? Because we did an arms workout, so. Bring your arm in front of your body, shoulder down, pull it towards you to the side. If you did a nice stretch in your shoulder. Oh, that feels so good. You can hold every stretch as long as you like, by the way. Other side. My arm is probably blocking the mic now. A morning workout would you I would recommend to eat something but like not a very heavy breakfast so like I for, for a long time I was doing my workout in the morning and I didn't have any breakfast just had some milk but I think like if you want to depending on what you want to do like if you want to build up muscle um, and get stronger I would recommend you to eat something like maybe a yogurt or something like a small portion of something or some fruit or just something to restore your uh, glycogen 
and stuff because when you wake up your liver won't have glycogen and your muscles so they will have but like um yeah if you want to build up muscle and everything it gets stronger it's better like to have to eat something to give your body something to work with but like depends also on how you feel um lift up your arm over your head drop it down and push it gently down with the other arm to stretch your triceps you can even lean um over to intensify the stretch yeah but it really depends on how you feel as well like if you're a person who like to work out like with an empty stomach you should do that you should always listen to your body but yeah it's for building muscle it's better to eat a bit before the workout and other side so everyone has in the end to decide for themselves but yeah i was like i said for a long time i wasn't eating in the morning i was always doing my workout without eating and then i started to like have eat a bit have a small breakfast and i think since i did that i'm getting I've, i feel like i'm getting stronger stronger again okay so arms back lean to one side and bring your arms in front make a round back stretch into one side to the other one and the other ah uh, let's come back here again stretching our leg so one leg in front um the front leg is straight now back leg is bent like that and then we try to come down with a more or less straight back maybe you want to grab some yoga blocks point that foot right point that foot try to have it more or less on the floor as you're in this position here even like turn the other leg out a bit hi wins good morning so, turn the other one here to that side if it makes it easier and maybe come lower here you can pointing that foot trying to maintain a straight back but you can go back a bit here with your bum feel a nice stretch in your inner thigh Turn back to the front. And other side. Other side to the front. Start up here. We point the foot. One side might feel way tighter than the other, that's totally fine, we can bend that leg a bit. For me it's like the right side at the moment. And down. Good, right? And up over the middle again. Ah. Thank you for the super chat, darling. And let go. Mercadona, Mercadona. Let's hear the rhyme poetry. Ivy shedding tree yin yang yawning face hippopotamus hippopotamus hippopotamus. <laughs> what was the second one? A uh, shedding tree, ivy shedding tree, yin yang yawn, hippopotamus hippopotamus hippopotamus. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful philosophy, uh, beautiful poetry. Thank you so much for the super chat, darling. Good morning, Janice, how are you? 
You're not feeling good today? Oh no, I hope we can make you feel better a bit. A bit, lean back, enjoy. Enjoy. Just like try to take it easy. Like we all have like days where we don't feel too good and it's like, it's just normal, you know? You have to accept that too. Like you cannot force yourself to always feel the best. Neither like from health or like from your like mindset. Sometimes we just feel bad. And I mean, we have to see the positive part about that because then if we wouldn't ever feel bad, then we probably wouldn't be able to appreciate feeling really good at the day. So, yeah, try to see the good side and try. I hope we can make you feel better here. This is just, ah, setting your key. Suspicious. Oh, she, she's a, she, the, the, the voice, the voice's name is Zoe. Zoe is a, she, she just changed the, she just changed the emoji. It's a relationship thing. Oh, okay, yeah, this is always, this can be hard. These things can be hard. So, this leg in front again, right? The other in back, to the back, and then we move the head, the heel, and the, the front foot further to the front. And we pulse down. Pulse. Oh, yes. Again, if we can, we come onto our elbows. But just if we can, if we cannot, maybe you don't mention do that, doesn't matter. You can stay up there. Everyone has a different level of flexibility and we just have to like keep pushing ourselves a little bit, but just a little bit. Up again. Again, let's try. To grab that back foot. <laughs> Holding. Let go. And the other way. The other side. So, removing that foot to the front, to the front, to the front. And pulse. Whew. Oh burning here so what is streaming on friday yeah i think I, i'm not i'm not sure yet I, i'm thinking on friday that like we stream a little bit later and the but plan is probably to start out with pole i'm going to set up the pole thing we're going to do some pole then we're going to take down the pole and do stretching i think we're going to do that but i'm not 100 percent sure yet but i think this might be it because i want to do one pole stream a week um and yeah, well, we will have like the taking down of the pole in between, which is kind of annoying. It will be like 20 minutes or something, but we can chat while we do that and then just do the stretching part afterwards. So no real workout, just like stretching and pole dancing, I think. Um, but yeah, I haven't decided completely yet. So come down onto your elbows if you can. You can see, but I want to do like one pole stream a week. So we'll see. Maybe I'll change my mind tomorrow. But yeah. I'll let you know. We will definitely have a stream and we will definitely have stretching. This will happen, for sure. Ah, let's come up again and grab that back foot and hold it. Thank you, Gregory. Hold it. And let go. Ah. So now we're gonna come onto your backs, keep stretching your legs. Ah, but first of all, maybe we want to drink something as we always want to stay um, hydrated. So, come onto your back, onto your backs. Um, you can have your leg we're gonna stretch one leg, you can have the other leg up here. Bend. Bend. Oh, sorry. Or oh, straight. Up to you. And the upper leg, you grab it. Where you can. Maybe here. Maybe further up, doesn't matter. Just hold it. And maybe move it towards you. You could even like put a band around your foot. Like to make it easier to hold it.
And on Friday, because I was thinking about like on Friday working on a poor choreography during the stream so that we have like a nice easy choreography that we could do or something, maybe like thinking of that beforehand and then just like do that. But yeah, I don't know yet because maybe maybe we're gonna even do like the full stream tomorrow at night and just do the full stream and then we just have the stretching stream on Friday. We will, we will find out. I'm still thinking about that. So now if you want to, if you can, open up to the side, bring your leg down here. Oh, like that. Oh. Oh. Let's do the other side. Straight. Up. You can hold your leg here. Totally fine. Totally legit. And it's easier if you have your leg, like, if you have your, the other leg bent, then you should be able to hold it here. This, everyone should be able to do that. This maybe not, but yeah, try. Uh, stretch. Oh. It's so nice. Oh. Now let's move our foot to the side if we can. Hold it there. Oh yes, that is so good. And let go. Let's come up. Gonna do another arm stretch before we move on to legs again. So I don't know if you'll be able to do that. This is some people are able to, some not. Some can do it right away. I'll just have to train for it. So you have your leg, one arm here, my your arm here, the other arm goes underneath, right, like that. And then you turn up your palms and you try to get them together like that. Not everyone is able to do that. And sometimes we are just able to do that on one side, but yeah, try. Try that you can pull up a bit and pull down. Up and down, up and down, right? There you go. Check it out. Try the other side. Arms like that. And oh. Okay. And down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Let go. Look from left to right. This is something everyone can do. You can do it if you're like at your office. Here's the shoulders. Up and down. Grab your hat and pull it kind of to the arm that you're holding it with, but like kind of diagonally to the front. So you feel a nice stretch here in your neck. It's so good. You can hold every stretch as long as you like, obviously. Let's do the other side. And... Yo. Shake it out. Um, yeah. Or on Friday, what we could also do, because I was thinking about doing the stream and the stream in the afternoon, we could do a normal workout stream in the morning and then do the post stream in the afternoon. I don't know. I, but we're gonna, there's gonna be streams. There's gonna be streams. So, guys, um, should we? Yeah, we need the other, we need the other block. Uh, we need the other mat, the other block, the other yoga mat. The yoga mat is better for splitting because we're going to get into the splits now. If you have yoga blocks as well, you can grab them. They are pretty handy. If not, no problem. Um, yeah, we want to split now. So I'm gonna take the yoga blocks 
because it's easier to prop yourself up on um, but no need to help them and let's at first try to just like without a timer slide into that split we start in a half split here and slide the other slide one foot out as far as we can try not to twist your hips too much and then just stay here holding it while gravity is pulling you down and if this is as open as you can get or even if it's less it doesn't matter just like keep training that every day or every other day and then you're going to get more flexible with time you could like come to the front on one side get those hips closer to the floor back up maybe you slide a little deeper now a little lower and let go other side as you can see we're not super we're not all the way down right now we're just getting there it's a process i cannot split right away i can just i have to like prepare myself every day again to split so same thing here try not to try not to twist too much and Down, down, down. You could come to one side to get those hips closer to the ground. And back up. And all the way up. And now we're gonna put on the timer. We're gonna put on the timer and we're gonna try to hold back for one minute and just slide down 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 as low as it gets for one in one in one minute during one minute let's start the timer and let's slide out Maybe you can get rid of the yoga blocks already, maybe not. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe. One minute almost done and then let's try to bring our upper body after that minute close to the knee if we can and hold it here for another few seconds <laughs> for another 10 seconds, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, up, ah, oh yes, oh this is very, ah, it's hard, this is hard, quick break, ah, and the other side, we still have the other side, but the other side will be feel better, will be easier. Hey guys, you ready? I guess you are. If you're not ready, well, then you're gonna do it anyway. Slide out.
Maybe we can touch the yoga blocks already. And now we're trying to bring the upper body close. Goodbye, Dennis. Have a great day. Hopefully, I hope it's it's getting better. And yeah, have a great day. You're probably not gonna have a great day, but like have a have a have a okay day. And bye bye. And see you uh, on Friday, hopefully. Okay, guys. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Ah, ah, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 Give those legs a rest. We're gonna do a cobra. Well, a bit half cobra. First of all, where we have our swings, so we have our elbows underneath our shoulders, and shoulders away from the ears, getting a nice stretch in our back. And then down, hands underneath the shoulders, and push up into the cobra. Shoulders with ears, and then let's come into child's pose. Oh, when we let go of all the tension in the lower back, let's stay here for a moment. We're gonna come into a bridge pose, right? In a bridge. Um, you don't have to come all the way. Uh, you don't have to do the whole bridge. Depends on uh, on your flexibility, right? You could just do a flute bridge. Or you do a bridge where you come on to, up to your hip, like that. Or all the way up. Try to get those legs more or less straight and pulse forward, pushing through your shoulders. And down. You're gonna get up again in a sec. <sighs> you ready? Let's do this. With straight legs, if you can, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, your legs in for a moment. Kind of have to reverse hamster position. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Come down. Oh. Legs up to one side and look the other way. Oh.
we are not going like we're going to start this is up late earlier today because i'm going to the park like i said already um yeah just so you know it's time time to go to the park where's like cat food could one of the cats pee into the shower i'll take this though One foot up, rotate the foot into one direction. And the other way around. Anchor flexibility here. And then point and flex. Point and flex. Other side. First we rotate. Then we rotate the other way. And up and down. Down. And let's come up again and sit here in this positions on our side. Grab the heel if you can. If you don't, you can also like hold your foot here, but like if you can grab your heel, try to pull up your leg here. You can even come down onto your elbow here. This is probably easier. Holding your leg like this, or like this, or back here, which is fine too, right? No need to do the advanced version if you cannot. Important shoulders away from ears. Pull the leg closer if you can. Other side. Hi A bad boy, welcome. Other side, you can do it up here or up here or here. Or be here. Doesn't matter wherever you're at. Fine. Come to the side, the other again. We're gonna do the side lying leg stretch. So you can either grab your foot or leg here and pull it towards you, or maybe you have a band. If you have a band, you could put that band around your foot. Whew. What are some of the names for hooks? Ah, uh, there's like a lot. Like there's, for example, like cartwheel drop or. Hi. Um, there's something that's called cartwheel drop. Um, hip lock is another one. Um, I know them mostly in in English uh, in in, German, in in Spanish. So hard. Uh, first of all, guys, it's yeah. If you want to like, how, and you have a band, put the band around your foot and pull that foot towards you here. You can have your left bottom like bent if you want to. You don't need to. You like the color pink? Pink is nice, yeah. And uh, yeah, what what else? What else? Star drop is another thing. Windmill drop. Um, footlock, double footlock. Airplane. It's a lot of. So, if you don't need this, you could grab your heel instead. Pull 
pulling it down, touching the floor, up again, and let's move to the other side. <laughs> again, you could hold your leg here, the bottom leg can be bent, you could use a band or a towel, right, to pull the leg towards you. It's okay if it's back there. If you don't need the band, you could maybe grab your here. Do this and pull. <laughs> pull it to the front. Down. Tap the floor. Up again. Let go. <laughs> Can get rid of the band. So. <laughs> we come into straddle position. Right, we straddle. Feet out. Like that. Point your feet and kind of try to come forward here. Maybe you have to have your hands behind your back. Right? To come forward with a straight back, as you can see in the mirror, hopefully. Straight back. If you cannot do that, then your hands are back here, just pushing forward. If you can forward, you can come up with a fairly straight back, leading with your chest, and do that. Let's draw some circles here. And the other way around. So today I'm going to part again. I'm going to take my tiller and I'm, I'm still going to upload a video. Of that, I think I'll cut it tomorrow. I think. Hi, Typhoon, welcome. And now let's just do half circles from one side to the other. Half circling. If you can, if you cannot do that, like down there, you maybe you're just like moving back up here, right? Because I want you to do that with the straight back, not with the wrong, not like that. This is no good. No, this is not what we want. Proud chest. If you want to stay here in the middle on your elbows, if you can. Something we haven't done in a while, we're gonna do that today again. If you have an up roller, grab that up roller. You don't need one though. You could just like walk out instead. But if you have an up roller, it's a pretty cool way to get into the pancake, even better. Can you see more? More. Um, straddle, up roller. And then it's easier to come to the front with a straight back, actually. So you roll to the front and you come back again, you know? This is a very good way of getting into that pancake and coming down with a straight back, leading with your chest, shoulders back, shoulders away from ears, all the same things. Point your feet. And down and up. Getting closer to the floor each time.
Let's stay down here, pulse a bit, roll out. Maybe you can even come onto the floor all the way. And up again. Put the air roll aside and move from one side to the other. And it doesn't matter if you like far down, you don't have to be all the way down. Um, you can come lower with each move, but you don't have to. It's okay to stay up here. We just want to get a nice stretch in our side body here or here. And back. And let's stay here for a moment. Over to the other side and stay there. You don't need those no more. Now you can try to like come into a middle split, like open up those legs more if you can. You don't have to though. Like if it's okay to be with your legs closer together and still pushing to the front on the back. And maybe you can pop yourself up onto your legs, onto your hands, I mean, onto your hands and feet and pulse forward a bit to open up those hips. Down to the front again. Hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and up. Ah, bring those legs together, roll them from side to side. Oh, yeah. Move the cam up again. Good. Okay. <sighs> Gonna do some easier stretches now again. Like because today we're not we don't have as much time as we have other days. It's gonna be another stream on Friday with more stretching. The thigh hitch. A thigh hitch? I don't know what this, what that is. I'm going to check that. Wait a second. On on Taylor uh, on on area six, you mean? Let's check that. I don't know the name, but it's probably because it's a it's a it's a hip knee hook. It's a knee hug. Okay, let's just uh let's just watch that. Okay. So thigh hitch. I probably I'm probably able to do that, let's see. It's a hip lock just, no? Isn't it? Ah, uh, down there. Inward. Ah, yes, I can. Yeah, yes, I can do that. I can do that, yes. I didn't know that name. Um, we call this like, uh, 
uh, subir a correr a mi lado. <laughs> so, come onto your backs. Pull one leg towards you like that. In. Over. Back into the middle. Let's switch legs. Over. Come up. Come into child's pose again. Alright, we're at the end of the stream, guys. This is it. This is it. I'm going to the park today. And I'm gonna upload a um a Talas video here on the stream on the on the channel soon. done guys thank you so much for working out with me the next stream will be like there's gonna be a gaming stream tomorrow on twitch but the next workout stream is on friday i'm not sure yet how we do it um maybe we do poll and afterwards we do a stretching session or we do poll in the morning and then a stretching session or we do just a normal workout session in the morning then a poll session in the afternoon i haven't decided yet but there's gonna be a workout stream or a stretching stream at least on friday so um thank you everyone for being here special thanks to all the members you're the best mm -hmm. to everyone though who's uh, also thank you to everyone who's watching watch time is important and uh, muchas gracias gente thank you so much Obrigada. Arigato what day is there now today is wednesday today is wednesday here and uh, on friday we're going to have the next workout stream so in two days, I'm gonna post the. I'm gonna no, no, gonna make a post here though about that, and I wish you all a very nice day. See you soon and bye bye. Au revoir. Oh, next time we're gonna have to do the Mike Tyson push-ups again. Yes. Bye bye. <laughs>